Good afternoon. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you today, as well as to share the uh, stage with our other speakers. My name is Dr. Solmaz Abu Ali, and I'm a professor of conflict resolution, a published author and consultant. I'm a 14-time U.S. national champion and world champion in traditional karate. Thank you. In looking at Iran from the perspective of a female fighter, I'd like to speak to the role that women in Iran have taken in protests. I will also highlight the 10-point blueprint of President-elect Maryam Rajavi, one which I believe has to be shared widely and repeatedly with the international community because it spells out directly how meaningful change will transpire in a future Iran that is founded on equality. Over the past 40 years, under the Mullah's regime, women have been treated as second-class citizens with little to no access to education, health care, technology, justice, and basic human rights, such as freedom of speech and expression. For example, sports, something so basic, is used as a tool to harass women. While watching sports games is denied to women, it is used, it, uh, any exclusive participation as female athletes on sports teams is met with zero government support, zero sponsors, and bans on media coverage of their tournaments in order to exclude them from public view. Under the Mullah's, Mullah's regime, female nurses and educators operate within a system which pays below the poverty line if or when they actually do get paid. Just a few days ago, chain protests were held across Iran with women at the forefront chanting, we do not support the Shah nor the sheikhs, we support the people. From vocal mothers of executed victims to marginalized female farmers who are excluded from the industrial and agricultural sectors, women continue to lead protests and organize resistance units. The history of Iranian women includes innumerable examples of fighting back against systemic violence. Topping these examples is President-elect Maryam Rajavi, a leading and progressing fig progressive figure who has not only defied all the odds and broken glass ceilings, but has inspired an attitude and spirit of fighting for freedom, democracy, and human rights, for a society where women are treated equally in all spheres of life, so that both men and women can utilize their full human values and potentials. Mrs. Rajavi has a plan specifically on the rights of women. Her blueprint is one which spells out how gender equality will be achieved in a future Iran. So allow me to highlight what exactly this looks like. In a future Iran, women will have fundamental rights and freedoms. Any type of discrimination against them will be banned and they will have legal equality and enjoy freedom of clothing, which means repeal of the law on mandatory hijab or railing. In a future Iran, women will have equal political participation. This means that women will participate equally in political leadership. Such a system is already in place at the National Council of Resistance of Iran, the parliament in exile which, which Mrs. Rajavi is leading, and it has worked well to promote equality. In a future Iran, women will have economic equality as well as equality in the, fa in the family sphere. Violence against women will be criminalized and sexual exploitation will be banned. The repeal of the Mullah Sharia laws would remove many sexist laws that the regime has been using, including stoning as punishment and the acceptance of crimes against women. And finally, in Iran, women, in a future Iran, women will have social benefits. Mrs. Rajavi also has her 10 point plan for the future of Iran. As noted in a resolution uh, sponsored by a majority of members of the U.S. Congress and that we've been hearing about today, her plan calls for the universal rights to vote, free elections, freedom of speech, freedom of political parties, freedom of assembly, freedom of the press and the internet, endorsement of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, separation of religion and state, and gender, complete gender, religious, and ethnic equality. It calls for the abolition of the Mullah's Sharia law, advocates a market economy, protection, and rehabilitation of the environment, and it advocates a foreign policy based on peaceful coexistence and a non-nuclear Iran. This, my friends, is the future of Iran. 
I'm confident that Mrs. Rajavi's 10-point plan, ten plan, I'm confident in her proven resilience, in her leadership, and ability to inspire both men and women, particularly the youth. It is no coincidence that you now have young women leading resistance units in Iran who act as an engine for change. It is Mrs. Rajavi's ability to inspire other women and young girls, such as myself. And this is why I have gifted my gold medals to her, because she and what she represents is our champion for equality. Thank you.